around social injustice and the need for positive change in our sport and in our society. What you're seeing here comes about 24 hours after the unveiling of the Black Players Alliance, an organization recognized by the USL and USLPA with a mission to affect positive change in communities throughout the league. Good break here for Richmond. Terzaghi there flips it over, it's in! Richmond strikes first here at home. All you can say there is look at Terzaghi, he's wide open on the absolute zone design replay. Morrell will whip this in. Headed back over, Chaos, that Fricky knocks it in off the crossbar, off the keeper, nonetheless equalizer for the triumph. Finds the back of the net here on the absolute stone design replay. Just an unlucky bounce there for Fitzgerald and maybe a lucky bounce there for Fricky. And winning via that defensive prowess we've seen all season, but a scoring by committee, maybe finding another here, the shot falls for Gomez, Gomez the strike, and deflected off the line, still alive and cleared by Thompson. This falls directly to Gomez, maybe took a little bit too much time there with the touches, and then it's saved off the line by Magalhaes. Still Terzaghi and deflected off of Lee, the former Richmond kicker. Another opportunity off the post, and into the back of the net as Kraft slices it home. It was Pavone, quick turn, deflected off the post, and there's Kraft. And Bolduc on the run. Top of the box, flicked on, and a diving stop by Jay. Great awareness by the Greenville keeper. Lee stepping up, now McLean. McLean brought down by Antley, it's a free kick for the triumph. See exactly what happened on the absolute stone design replay and came out with the cleats up. And a red card issued to Ian Anley, who's had a fantastic match tonight, as he's had. He leads the team in interceptions, second on the team in clearances, and now Richmond without their one fullback. Redemption for the kickers. They take down the triumph in meeting two this year.